good evening everyone uh this is dr ramesh here from c dental masters happy to see you all again uh and this is a special webinar it is not on any clinical subjects this is the reality of dentistry uh the topic is life of a dentist in the covid era the topic for a discussion is the topic for discussion is life of a dentist in the covid era it is like it's a battle which we need to fight together so i feel it is high time we all join our hands to fight this covid that's why we have put the caption as come on friends let us all face the challenge together so the topic goes like this it is the life of a dentist which we are going to uh, follow as a journey like life of a dentist at his home a life of a dentist at his workplace and life of a dentist in the outside world so our topic of discussion will cover all these three so here i give dr sindhil you are going to take up the next session our daily routine at the work that is the dentist at work that is my topic the only thing is see i am changing uh, basically at ten i would have been half sleep at this point of time so there is a need to change in the mental attitude that is what is very important we can think see uh, in march till 15th i was doing routinely what stops me now can i do it in the same way as i used to do see that sort of thinking has to go out of our mind we cannot do in the same way as we did a couple of months back okay and i always tell my team one small mistake by either by me or by you is going to damage the entire thing okay how you handle the mask what you will touch after touching the mask is going to ha have a longer repercussions no sorry way is going to help us that's what i tell my team members so one small mistake is going to ruin us so don't try doing that so routine work basically as he was saying minimalist approach what is that minimalist see suppose if i am having a dental practice i may be having seven or eight or some people will be having 14 some people will be having only two but what we need minimum is one doctor one assistant one receptionist and the one housekeeping staff see if you are having too many restrict to only these many staff to start off say i i have already started my practice for a couple of uh, days so what i am seeing is very minimum number of patients not too many number of patients and i am concentrating on my old patient so we are not going to see so many patients which we used to see previously probably people who are working at a rural area like mahendra kumar or uh, dr damodar kanan they have to rework themselves my routine work is this way so we need at least one doctor suppose if you don't have all this better equip yourself one assistant for yourself inside the room one receptionist one housekeeping staff see the housekeeping staff can also be a receptionist or a assistant it is up to you but you make sure you have all these four covered in your practice next thing is uh sorry see previously we used to be very uh, jovial right with uh, white coat on top and uh, fancy hair styles no no such things are going to work now this is completely no though they are giving a big thumbs up this is big thumbs down as far as this present covid situation is concerned can you identify the person in this uh, attire in a green color one you cannot basically this is our uh, own tamodar kannan <laughs> now see uh, the change uh, he has made then to his practice so what is more important is you cannot have the same shirt and pant you cannot go just before the appointment sir patient vandutanga 
நீங்க வந்துருவீங்க இல்ல நோ சச் திங்ஸ் ஹியர் ஆஃப்டர் பிளீஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வி நீட் டு பி மச் பிஃபோர் த பேஷண்ட் and we need to change entirely the complete setup has to be changed we need to have a room for ourselves to change and all the assistants to change that is a very important thing that we need to think about so uh, you cannot go on with fancy hair styles as priya was mentioning uh, we need to think about the strategy we need to change as soon as we enter and just before leaving also and we need to carry a bag a bag in the form of pillow cover which is very very good as soon as you don or doff anything you put everything inside the pillow cover and then wa- put it in the washing as he was mentioning you can if you are able to have one washing machine in your practice that is good otherwise you can take everything to your place with the pillow cover inside with everything inside the pillow cover so the daily routine work for the dentist arrive early than your appointment at least half an hour prior it will be tough initially but you have to see as soon as you go there either you wash or you disinfect your hands then you disinfect your feet also now i can see what i am using is i have i have placed one tub with water with a disinfectant like you are hypochlorite and little bit of detol in that you can put your uh, feet inside that and then you can uh, unwipe them and then you can go for hand washing and straight to the dressing change room so what you have to do is undress everything go into a scrub head cap n95 mask three ply mask and a face shield a protective footwear yeah nitrile glove nitrile glove uh, is better so that you can um, multiple times you can disinfect on top of the nitrile glove come back and organize your operatory see most of your assistant may not be doing everything according to the checklist it is your duty or my duty to supervise everything tell them repeatedly then only they can understand because change bringing about a change in ourselves itself is a tough job imagine about the uneducated or a less educated people who are going to work near you so that is a biggest challenge which i am facing and for consultation this kind of a setup is okay for procedure suppose if you are doing a procedure the aerosol generating or a non aerosol generating you going to extract the teeth because we are going to do only two procedure at present one is a root canal opening or a root canal procedure another one is a uh, basically a extraction that's what today uh, just few hours before what the information which i got so procedure for ppe or protective eye care before the procedure think about the air flow and the ventilation according to the procedure to be done because if you are going for only a consultation you don't have to worry much but if you are going for aerosol generation or a non aerosol generation procedure the scene is entirely different you need to equip yourself see daily routine work of a receptionist see they should be one hour before basically they also need to do whatever you are doing dress code has to be changed yes scrub in any form suppose if you are not having a scrub don't worry people are innovating nowadays either a long shirt or people are even going for a nike kind of a thing so anything whichever you want you can customize definitely a footwear three ply mask a head cap and a face shield this is what i am giving the my receptionist the receptionist is basically your selling point so the receptionist has to be neat and clean so i am very uh, particular about it i am also giving a n95 mask as a selling point otherwise a three ply mask itself is good enough but i am also giving a n95 to my receptionist because only the patient is going to see mainly the receptionist the reception is the front line staff to get sanitized dispensers ready with the consent forms ready the case sheets ready i am going she is going to have two forms ready one is a checklist for each and every patient another one is a consent form all windows kept wide open since i am having a filter i am using a uh, air air conditioner also but at the same time i am using a filter 
and at the time when the patient is coming because one hour if the ac runs it is good enough along with the filter after that i will switch on and off the ac so this is the work of the receptionist all ceiling fans exhaust fan to be run through cross ventilation every morning the ppe donning area to be maintained thoroughly ventilated designated self for the patient baggage and accessory to be labeled clear and then that needs to be sanitized also the role of the receptionist this is the uh, actually i can share you already i have shared this in the uh, our group so this you can take it as a print out for each and every patient uh, the date the patient name instruction message that is even before the patient has come the video which we have made i am sending along with a gist of instruction like make sure you are using the toilet in your home come with a digital payment ready and you wash your mouth and come uh, brush your teeth and come wear a mask and come like that only very critical instruction sent as a message then appointment time what is the arrival time as soon as they enter the receptionist should make sure that the footwear is outside and then they are cleaning both the feet as well as uh, if you have a foot operated sanitizer dispenser they can they themselves can use i am asking them to use liberally so that they can up to the even up to the elbow they can make sure that uh, they disinfect at the hand once they disinfect the hand it is the duty of the, my receptionist to give ask them to throw the old mask give a new mask gloves shoe cover and a head cap so then only they are going to check the temperature of both the patient if at all if there is any attendant their uh, temperature and oxygen saturation if it is rejected at this point itself they are going to uh, if the patient is having a higher temperature they are going to reject even if you have given a appointment remember that and then covid form signature we have a tamil version and the english version whichever uh suitable for the patient this will be ready keeping the belonging in the safe area as we already mentioned once this is ready once the inside room is also communicated that the patient has arrived and all the procedures are over if my assistant the dental operatory assistant is saying yes then it is the responsibility of the receptionist to guide them to the inside area once the procedure is over the receptionist has to check all this verbal post op instruction prescription i am usually using a digital prescription either in the form of uh, messages or in the form of print outs so there is no need for any writing or anything payments are also digital payments and the bills are also generated with the software so it is easier for me and then usually during the consultation appointment i'm usually taking a opg whether the patient pays or not it is opg for consultation and then those opgs i am sharing in a digital platform because most of the patients are having uh, whatsapp nowadays otherwise i have to give a print out otherwise you're not going for a print out routinely now and then the same instruction will be repeated in the whatsapp handing over the belonging removal of the head cap and shoe cover we have kept a color coded yellow color coded bin in the reception there they have to it is important for us to thank and wish them even in spite of all these negativity people are coming and we need to wish them and thank them schedule the next appointment and then most importantly this is what i picked up from ramesh courtesy call on the very next day because we don't know whether they are next day they are suffering or after a week they are suffering any uh, unwanted incidences like cough fever or some un unwanted gi disturbances which we need to be keeping in track with the patient so this is all the responsibility of the receptionist so the receptionist has to be trained to be frank if you have given all these checklists for each and every patient it becomes easy sorry so chair side assistant to be in the clinic one hour before dress code is much similar to what i am going to wear 
scrub, footwear, N95, 3 ply mask, head cap, and face shield. Autoclaving is their major responsibility. Usually, we will have the appointment scheduled for the day. According to the appointment, they have to make sure that the warning instruments are keep kept ready. And you are going to have only three procedures that you are going to do. One is consultation, consultation instruments, and then second is RCT instruments, and then extraction, the specific instruments required for that particular patient. That's what I am trying to do now. And then not only that, they have to cover all the unnecessary things like uh, the laptop, uh, keyboard, monitor, OPG machine, that also they have to wipe and then cover. All dental chair, upholstery, light handle to be sprayed and wiped with good radiate sprays. After wiping, transparent cling wrap can be used. All these is going to increase your waste disposals and then wash basin, suction apparatus, sinks to be sprayed with hydrochloride water. The water line needs to be disinfected. You should have at least three water bottles. One bottle uh, is uh, with sodium hypochlorite, that is 1% sodium hypochlorite. Before the start of the day, you ask them to run with the uh, on all the three way syringes and your air outer hand pieces. Once that is done, then you have a regular water at least run for a minute so that all the sodium hypochloride is washed off. That completes the thing. And then between the two patients, also, if you're going to do aerosol generator procedure, the same thing is going to be repeated. The water point, the third water point is going to be used. Water bottle is going to be used. That means two bottle of water and one bottle with sodium hypochloride in between. Okay. So that's how I'm planning. So that she has to take care. So next is the housekeeping staff to be in the clinic one hour before dress code, which I'm again scrub is better. If you can give a long uh, rope kind of a thing, that is all fine. Footwear is essential. Three ply mask is essential. Uh, head cap is essential. Utility glove is essential. And then reception area to be thoroughly disinfected. So I'm using two things. One is first mop the floor with uh, Lysol, next with sodium hypochloride solution kept in a spray, spray it in the tiles and then wipe with a newer, uh, that is not the same old thing that you are going to use, a new set of wipers and then that needs to be all doormat, shoe stand, thoroughly clean, baggage story area needs to be clean. Previously, I used to have the housekeeping staff only in the morning. Now I am making them to stay back because each and every appointment, I am asking them to clean everything. So I feel housekeeping staff, the role of housekeeping staff is increased. The baggage area, washroom needs to be cleaned. The mopping has to be uh, procedures which needs to be followed. That is from out to in. Separate marks, this is what I was saying. Buckets are also needs to be separate. Uh, the prestige one is very good. Actually, you have two bins kind of a thing where you don't have to, uh, uh, the mop uh, unwinding and other things are much simpler with that. All dustbins needs to be cleaned. Designated color coded covers needs to be placed, which she is already routinely doing. Only thing is we need to insist on frequent cleaning also. Appointment scheduling is basically another thing which is taking more time for me. See, I don't want people to encourage walk-ins. That is, even if they walk in, I'm going to get a phone number. I, the reception is going to tell, we will have a teleconsultation in the beginning. That can be done within today itself. If at all needed, we will prescribe you whatever is needed and then schedule an appointment because I am going to see a patient in the teleconsultation. I am going to instruct whether she requires an appointment or not for consultation or for the procedure directly. So the onus is on the doctor, basically on the teleconsultation, whether you wanted to see the patient or not, first question. Second, are you going to see the patient for consultation or for the procedure? Now, this is working out well for me. 
but i don't know whether it will be suitable for everybody in this particular arena what do you do with walkins because some people like uh, my close friends they have a lot of patients like 20 patient 30 patient they cannot avoid walking but in that case at least you can make sure you have a separate window for the walking patients like first few hours of your practice and then separate appointment time where we are going to give appointment make sure that the patient comes for the procedure on that appointment time that we need to customize for each and every area which is your strength accordingly you need to customize and then video consultation is becoming very very popular because everybody is actually enjoying the video consultation because they, it is going to be free for most of the patient sending some people are asking me how do i pay at the end of the video consultation i am saying it is for free you can enjoy and i am in this particular point i wanted to communicate to you it is more than the money i wanted to gain the trust of my patient during this difficult times not i am not worried about the money part at this particular point big hit and then i will be once i'm decided i'm going to see the patient because i have all the appointments like i want a scaling to be done i want uh, you won't believe people are asking for scaling people are asking for midline diastema correction people are asking for uh, whitening of the teeth this is what i am getting the calls so i am filtering them off i am telling that you will be in the priority list i will be giving you a call once the situation becomes better so other than that nothing much i am going to schedule an appointment uh, myself and then i will give the list to the receptionist the once the patient is received sorry 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 receiving the patient i already told as soon as the patient has come uh, the, it is the responsibility of the re receptionist to receive make sure that the footwear is kept outside both hand and uh, feet needs to be cleaned and then generously with uh, disinfectant solution i don't have the luxury of having a, a water connection at the entrance and uh, with uh, a good setup of uh, things and uh, what i am doing is i am giving them a, a sanitizer dip for the feet as well as for the hand and then the receptionist is going to give them the personal protection like face mask head cap and uh, uh, shoe cover and other things and then only they are going to check with the temperature and the pulse oximeter both for the patient and the this one and then once everything is ready then they will get a signature i am handing over the pin which they are signing to the patient itself so uh, that's a compliment from my side and then once that is done during the procedure it is usually remove the uh, for a consultation i am not changing the dress only scrub and then once if it is a procedure then uh, i will be going ahead with a ppe a uh, head cap i wear and then on top of that i also have a respirator kind of a mask which i am using for the procedure chair side assistants are equally important they also they they uh, you have to make sure that the patient is gargling with a povidone iodine the one good thing which i learned from ramesh is instead of asking them to gargle and spit it out gargle and keep in your mouth we will suck it out with a low volume suction that is what i am doing for past two days that no problem and then wiping the patient face with isopropyl alcohol and a povidone iodine which i am already doing for the implant patient which i am doing routinely now even for a consultation so keep the room thoroughly ventilated that is very important that is your responsibility dentist responsibility provide disposable wrap use of rubber dam and high vacuum motorized suction mandatory for aerosol generation procedure if sutures needs to be pressed it is better to go for a absorbable in case of consultation if you have the option of having a opg nothing like that along with the consultation just get a opg also done previously i used to take intraoral photographs now i am not taking the intraoral photograph for the simple reason i may not be able to disinfect my camera intraoral rex rays i am i have taken with proper barrier protection and glutral dehydrated wipes use of a autoclave wrapping paper sheets to place 
for the easy disposal of soiled items. That's what I'm doing right now. And then post treatment, as soon as I complete, I am also giving them a mouthwash if it is a procedure uh, that is uh, RCT. If it is an extraction, I'm not going to do anything. All the inspection are outside, immediately shift the pa patient back. And then wait for 10 minutes if it is a RCT and other thing. I am instructing my assistant to clean up everything after the 10th minute. The filter also will run for 10 minutes. Once the filtration, everything is done, after the 10 to 15 minutes only, mopping, even picking up all the instruments, and then wiping everything is done after the 10th minute. And then finally, I'm wiping everything. And then the all the other things which I have mentioned here, whether you want a UV light or not, I don't have a UV light at present, but I will be uh, putting the UV light as soon as possible. And then we need to give a post-op instruction. That is all my receptionist responsibility, payment, handing over everything, and the covers disposal. Already I have instructed my receptionist that she will take care. The end of the day, we need to make sure lastly, after the end of the day, if somebody is entering your practice, don't entertain. Assistant wear the utility gown to wash all the instruments, keep it ready till just before the auto clean part, they have to keep it ready. Once to wash, disinfected and coarse lux remission for 10 minutes, followed by drying, packing, which I'm already doing for most of the things, plus all the suction, three-way syringes, spittoons with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution, face shield of the support staff. See, even the N95 mask, we have a breathable airbags where we are going to keep, write your name, the date on which you want that, Everything needs to be put. If you have a UV cabinet, store it in the UV cabinet. Mopping is essential at the end of the day. That's why I said uh, either you have to ask your assistant to do or you have to make sure that your housekeeping staff stays till you finish. Finally, a thorough fogging. Fogging is again a controversial area. But if you have a fogger, nothing like that, you end of the day, you do a fogging because the guideline is also mentioning about the fogging and disinfecting the air. All chair units to be raised, remove the scrub. Once everything is done, finally you remove the scrub, you remove the mask, remove the gloves, and then make sure you put everything in the uh, pillow cover which you have taken, and then take all your things. And then the only problem, biggest problem which I'm facing is cell phone. How do I sterilize? Because I'm using the wipes and other things to sterilize the cell phone, but sterile cell phones are be becoming a big menace for me. And then we need to, uh, as Priya was telling us, what you have to do once you have completed the practice, how you are going to go out, all these things you need to maintain. So that's the important. The message is loud and clear, my friends. The change is permanent. We can compare this present scenario to one thing, we are writing an exam where the question is completely out of question. We have faced such situation before, yes or no? Yes. Definitely, we have faced such situation completely out of question, right? What will be your answer for that? You will leave the question and come back? Definitely not. What will you do? <laughs> you will write something. What will you write? You will definitely use your common sense, right? So that's what I want you, my friends, do everything. There will be a lot of questions which is unanswered here, but it is treated like out of question, out of portion exam question. Use your common sense, solve the new problems. That's how we can move forward. Not by just listening to some lecture. We need to use our brain. That's what, my friends. That's the end of my presentation. It's over to you, Ramesh. Thousands of guidelines have been established, as put in the slide. Uh, we wanted to uh, win this war. So the major pressing issue is like um, we will be exposed to a lot of uh, this infectious disease because the government is slowly opening everything. We should know all the positives, all the negatives. 
after uh, hearing the talk about uh, talk about covid uh, what priya has said it is somewhat negative but the truth is we need to face the negative also we should be aware if you any some patients ask us how to uh, what to do what are all the signs or where uh, we need to uh, go and uh, uh, see a doctor or how how they should proceed also we should be able to guide them so that's why i wanted i was very specific to include that in this topic okay so this is like everything is there in front of you you can just read it right so know to diagnose and detect the initial symptoms and take the early advantage take the early uh, measures to come out of this covid in a victorious way so this is the conclusion and the, and one more thing which we have left is once the doctor finishes and uh, when the once the dentist um, reaches his home he has to exit the clinic with a mask on dentist on reaching the home what he should do he should leave the bags personal objects in a box at the entrance and the home first remove the shoes and wash your hands thoroughly uh, prior to touching anything then sanitize your phones and bags first remove your clothes put for wash separately in a tub of bucket with disinfectant then take a clean hot shower scrub almost all the exposed areas of your face hands and legs okay then always use tissues while sneezing or coughing dispose them immediately wherever possible when you are out wash your hands immediately maintain safe distance from the elders as well as children which is going to be very very difficult so we started the life of a dentist from his home now he has reached his house with so many things in mind so there are a lot of things to digest from this uh, uh, from this webinar from uh, three of us but uh, take it from me friends we can definitely do at least 50 to 60% of what we have heard please customize everything for your practice we have seen lot of uh, negativity around we are ready to face anything we have to step out like heroes we have to step out like leaders we have to face anything we should be ready to face anything we are ready to face the covid video we are ready to face the covid's uh, uh, complications whatever it is we should be ready the main motto of this presentation is to cover a dentist life from start to night from morning till night he reaches his home hope we have done some justice to the topic uh, that has been taken up now so uh, this concludes the uh, presentation